I don't see myself as coming here from England to tell you the answers. And there's a, mainly a reason for that. I don't know the answers. But I think that over the last 20 years, I've began to grasp what the key questions are. The Reverend Dave Mail is an esteemed church planning veteran from the Church of England. In early February, he visited St. Paul's Blur Street, bringing his message of ingenuity and deconstruction to the plenary sessions of the sixth annual Vital Church Planning Conference. I've been helping churches thinking about church planting. I've been thinking about imagination and trying to get people to think outside the box, not just about how you tweak services, but go right back to how do we begin to connect with people, build community, do discipleship and see church coming out of that. So effectively, we are in our churches shouting through the letterbox uh, as people uh, go past. And this whole conference is about saying, actually that's not how we do church. It never has been and it never will be. And it is about us leaving our buildings in terms of connecting with people who are outside the church. We have actually looked for models and help and advice uh, to the Church of England, which I think is, is ahead of us uh, in this respect. So that's why uh, the last few years at least one of our speakers uh, has been from the Church of England. We've also complemented that uh, with a Canadian speaker. Uh, but we have begun to learn the lessons that they have been learning. And I think that's why there is such uh, excitement at uh, hearing this stuff. The first two days were deemed the Leader Conference. And as such, Dave used these days to invite us, in these changing times, to reimagine and redefine leadership. A realization that church isn't just about how many people can we get inside a building on a Sunday or to various other activities. But the measure is what does it mean to be a follower of Jesus 24-7? We've been thinking about the really important thing of what do leaders need to look like to lead this new kind of church, new church communities. And then we've been thinking about some kind of advice on, well, how do you actually do this? What are some of the key things that you need to put in place uh, to allow imagination and leadership and discipleship to start taking place? On the third day, as the attention shifted to the relevance of team building, Dave couldn't stress enough the importance of the lay people in the church's new mission-centered landscape. I really do believe that lay people hold a really important part in this process. Often they are the people who are most connected outside the church, often they're the most imaginative people and we need to be finding more and more lay people that want to be and are called to be part of this process. Each of Dave's plenary addresses propelled the conference into a series of workshops the result of which will no doubt prove to be fruitful thanks to Dave's stimulating words.